<laughs> we got nothing. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan Agent. Welcome to the project. So here we are. We are with our Jeep Grand Cherokee WJ. We are also with this old Bosch battery that we acquired from my cousin not too long ago. But this thing has been in bad shape. Uh, it wasn't too great when we got it. It's, uh, it was even worse in that update video and today it just bit the dust. So we are going to go get ourselves a new battery. I figure we'll test this out. We'll see what this says on my battery tester. Maybe we'll even give it a charge while we're shopping for a new one. We'll see how much a charge could do in the afternoon. If it helps at all, probably not, but yeah. And eventually we'll replace this with a new battery. So I think I'm gonna head over to Walmart and see what they got in stock there. Uh, basically I'll get anything but an Optima. So let's take a little test right now. All right, I'm gonna test this old thing with this Top Don battery tester. Now I really like this thing. It was uh, a gift from the Top Don company and uh, in exchange for a good review. And so far I've been nothing but pleased with it. So if you like this thing, feel free to check out my link in the description. You can get yourself a Top Don battery tester. I think they're like 60 bucks. So here we go. You just connect the terminals. Red, red, black, black. Easy peasy. And then we'll go ahead and hit enter. See what we got. All right. We're going to do a battery test. Sure. We'll hit enter. This is a regular flooded battery. Yes. Uh, cold cranking amps, we're going to select that, enter, now you could go up and down for the cranking amps, it's at intervals of 15 I believe, so we are at 650 cold cranking amps, uh, no I'm sorry, 850, right, got to double check, make sure it matches up with the Bosch specs, so here we go, 850 cold cranking amps, and all you do is hit um, enter, <laughs> there you go. And it's testing, just like that. So we shall see what this battery is up to. Hey, look at that. Charge and retest. This thing doesn't even give me a reading. That's how bad the life got sucked out of this battery. It's healthy at 0%. It's got a charge of 40%. It's reading that it's at 11.94 volts, but it's got no amp. So that's, uh, that's kind of crappy. But we'll give this a charge, see if we could get any signs of life in this thing while we go shopping for a new battery i don't think any charge can fix this so let's uh let's hook up the charger and we'll hit the road all right we got my ampeak smart charger it's saying put the clamps on it you got it charger red to red black to black once again this is saying 30 percent capacity at 11.9 volts well that was consistent with the tapped on charger so let's hit this with uh let's just go full on charge we'll set it up to 25 amps and we'll set this down we'll hit the road let it do its thing Alright guys, here we go. We went with the Walmart Everstart. It's a plus, not a max, and it was only a hundred bucks. So we're gonna give this a shot. I'd prefer it to be a max, but hey, you buy what they have. <laughs> they didn't have the max, what are you gonna do? Alright, so this one has 650 cold cranking amps, 800 cold cranking amps. And uh, let's take a look at this over here. And our battery is uh, done charging. It says it's at 100%. So let's uh, disconnect this. We'll test the battery. We'll see if it starts. All right, this battery is now at 83% health. It's got 100% charge. It's showing it's 12.94 volts, and it's showing it is 774 cold cranking amps. 
but I don't trust it. Um, I'm sure it's going to start right now, but it's only been five hours with the charge. I just don't think it'll take. You know what? I have an idea. All right, so I just drove this baby about 25, 30 miles. I ran some errands. I went to Home Depot. We're, uh, we're going to go to Home Depot. Stuff like that. Maybe Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know. I don't know if we'll have enough time. No, I didn't go to Bed Bath & Beyond. I did go to AutoZone, and I got some battery lugs. So this project got a little bit deeper. Um, I am curious to see how this battery is now. Oh, my goodness. In just a few short hours, the health of this battery went down to 4%. This is bad. It says replace. This bad LED is illuminated. Hard to tell. Sun's in the wrong angle. But, all right. I think this battery is shot. Um, one thing I want to check. I want to test the um, parasitic draw. Let's do a quick parasitic draw test pop off this negative real quick take off the negative terminal I'll get my multimeter all right here we go quick parasitic draw test we got the negative terminal disconnected putting the wires down here and I got my multimeter we got the red on the DC 10 amps we got the black the ground on the common we're gonna switch this over to the DC 10 amps. This is its own special circuit. It'll protect the multimeter. And all we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take the red wire, connect it to the car wires over here. Keep that out of the way still. Now we're just gonna to touch the black to the negative post. And this should level out at about 25 milliamps. There we go, look at that, 23 milliamps. So we know the wiring in this Jeep is good. It's not drawing any power that it shouldn't be. So we know all the wiring in this Jeep is functioning as it should, and we know that there's probably something wrong with the battery. I'm just gonna do one more test for you battery-loving alternator naysayers. I'm just gonna connect this back up, start the Jeep up real quick. All right, I'm gonna reconnect the negative terminal. And uh, I got this a lot from my uh, Optima dissing videos. There's some people out there that are diehard Optima fans. They want to tell me that it's not the battery and that it's my crappy Jeep or it's my alternator. But I say, no, it is the battery. And I'll show you how you could tell really quick. So we got the terminal back on. Let me start the Jeep. While the Jeep is running, disconnect the negative terminal again. It's still running. Jeep is getting its power from the alternator, which is good. All right, guys, check this out. She is still running. Even though I disconnected the negative battery terminal, she could run like this all day. That's how I know that the alternator is good. It's not the alternator that is the problem. It is still charging the whole system of the Jeep. So good alternator. We have no parasitic draw. So we know that the wiring in the Jeep is not crap. Now it's gotta be the battery. I'm very thorough when I test this. So you could believe me when I say it's the battery that is the problem. That's how you guys know you can believe me when I tell you Optima batteries are crap. They shouldn't fail after only a year. And it's not my crappy Jeeps. So. Uh, we're gonna move ahead and we're gonna install these battery lugs so we can hook up our new terminals when we get this new battery in. All right. There. Now the positive is off. All right. Our battery tied down is in here. 10 millimeter. It just loosens up the wedge that holds the battery in place. And these Bosch's have a nice, nice handle built in comes right out 
All right, I want to open up this battery harness a little bit so I have room to work when I put on those new lugs. I'm going to gently score the tape. We'll see how much wire I could free up in here. It'll be a big tapey mess, I'm sure of it. big tapey mess indeed all right this is great this is gonna free up a lot of room to work with when I do my new terminal lugs and uh, yeah let's go and snip off the old terminals we're gonna get fresh metal exposed on here so this could all come out I'll save this one this one unfortunately is gonna be useless when it snipped that's okay, it's stretched and worn out anyway. Gabbage. Remind me to put this back on. I like this. I got some nice pieces of shrink wrap tubing I'm gonna slide on right now before I forget. I hate making connections, especially when you solder them and realize you forgot the shrink wrap tubing. I put this on, I love this stuff slide that all the way down crinkle it up down there don't want it to melt and I'm soldering on the lugs all right the black on the black all right I'm gonna strip about a quarter inch off of this stuff expose some good copper in here gonna get ready to put on these Duralast battery cable lugs now these are four to six gauge cable they should fit perfectly on the factory WJ cables and they got a 5 16 stud hole well that one's gone <laughs> but when I find it that should fit on these old Schumacher terminals so um yeah i'm not sure exactly where i got these but i'll leave a link in the description below to a similar product if you want to use something like this whoo that was close all right let's go for this eye protection is a must hot solder spits everywhere so pop this on flux my wire here we go i'll pull out a lot of solder get my torch ready Hope I didn't block that with my forearm. Guess we'll let that sit for a minute and cool. There we go. Nice battery lug installed. Looking good. All right, let's slide up my shrink wrap tubing. We'll see if we can get a nice little protective coat up here. Put a little flux in here. Keep any water out, hopefully. You know what, I could probably use dielectric grease too, but it's too late, keep going. It's too late, keep going. There, look at that guys. Finished product for lug number one. I'm loving this. Yeah baby, that is clean.
Well, there it is. Negative cables, positive cables, looking real good. All right, let's tape this sucker up. Then we can get the battery back in. And there we go. Now the harness is properly taped. We should be good to go. Let's get this battery in. Incoming. Battery tray tied down. There we go. I'm just gonna apply my topped on battery test there and uh, we'll see how good this battery is. Come to think of it, I should have done this in the Walmart store prior to uh, buying it. Um, I guess better late than never, right? Boom, look at that. Healthy, 100%. Charge, 100%. We've got all 12.86 volts. All right, and we got a good battery. Can we see that LED? Sweet. So, I am very satisfied. 90 something bucks, 92, I don't know, plus tax. Under 100, I think. Good battery, all right. Plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. All right, here we go. Got my new terminal clamps. I also grabbed some lock washers here because I'm not crazy about how these just roll on without any lock washers. Also got my post terminal cleaner. Gonna want these terminals to be nice and shiny. Some beautiful, beautiful posts here. <laughs> They're new, but the shinier the better, if you ask me. <laughs> there we go. Get your shine on. Wish I could put that song in, but I'd get bagged for copyright infringement. There we go. Shine that up. And I'm going to use some uh, battery terminal grease. It's basically dielectric grease. prevents corrosion. And we got here these little guys, these post felts. The, uh, these are treated to prevent acid corrosion. So we'll put these on, put the posts on, clamp it down, good to go. That's right, slop this on. The messier the better. Guess that goes for all car work. <laughs> all right, gonna put the red on the positive, green on the negative. <laughs> Slide on positive here. Slide on a negative here. Just gotta tighten this down. 14 millimeter. Not too tight. Don't want to snap these like I did to Andy's. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. Go ahead and do one side at a time because they are loose nuts under here. So I don't want to lose those nuts. These are 11 millimeter, I believe. Slide that on. Put on a locking washer. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's up. Positive side. All right, guys, there we have it. There is a thorough battery change and some battery testing and some terminals. <laughs> Very thorough. More than I thought I'd do, but hey, nothing but the best for you guys. Now we just gotta start it. All right, guys, <laughs> you know what I say. Moment of truth. There you have it. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys, that's a wrap for my WJ battery swap video. Got a Walmart battery in there. Let's hope it lasts for a long, long time. If it doesn't, you guys will hear about it, though. And i uh, got a bunch of other accessories on it. I will leave a link in the description below to everything I got on here. And uh, that's it. That's a wrap, guys. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next project. Peace. Ah, dang it. I forgot my cover. Uh. Yeah!